All right, well, uh, good morning, everyone. I'm still waking up, and hopefully you too. Uh, do you have a free cell phone uh, connection? Most likely, no. If you know one, let me know after the talk. Uh, but the point is that if you, because you're paying for it, you retain your data. On the other hand, do you pay for any of your social media connection? I hope not. But that means that sort of the social media platform can look into your data. The point is that uh, there is a value associated with the data or the privacy that you lose. Okay? So the question is that sort of how do we assign value to that data? Now, assigning value to the data is not as easy. And the reason is that, well, you know, if I'm an advertiser and I want to understand what is your value, I need to run my machine learning model or whatnot in a complicated manner to assign exact value to you. But that's not the point, really. You, as a user, when you go online, you have a very concrete value. And the question is that, is there a way to evaluate that independent of the who consumes it? It's like there is an apple. Apple has a concrete value. So how do we assign that? And that's the technology that we have built. And we are trying to use it to build a system called Zorro. So I'll describe what the Zorro is in rest of, uh, rest of the time. My clock is not ticking. That's great. All right, so Zorro is a real-time web system that helps price online uh, data. On one hand, it allows users to get paid for the loss of the privacy of the data that they get, give out. On the other hand, it, from the advertiser's perspective, actually, unlike display ad, which is extremely noisy, and search ad, which is extremely powerful because of the clarity of intent, we want to convert display ads page to search ad intent. Uh, and I will explain how that's going to work. All right, so with that, uh, here is the team. It's myself and my colleague, Manzur Dale, um, and the team of STAR students, Anish, Dylan, Andre, and Madeline. They're all sitting there, and they'll be around, so please feel free to talk to them. OK, so let's dive into this. Um, in the current display ad space, there are two uh, types of inefficiencies. One is the user inefficiency. And another is advertisement inefficiency. So let's understand what those are, just going through slowly. So let's say he, you are a user. Uh, you go online, look for the Snickers. You get a bunch of uh, Snicker options. You buy them. Once you bought them, you're done. You got them uh, shipped or whatnot. And now you go on, sort of, let's say, browsing New York Times. And now what's going to happen? You're going to see lots of Snicker ads. The point is you don't need that. You already got what you wanted. Okay. So then what you'll do, OK, you'll go and find the right uh, ad blocker. You will install that ad blocker. Voila, no more advertisement. You're happy, right? The problem is that you're still losing your privacy. And as this is happening, you cannot control your data. And more importantly, you're not seeing the advertisement that you might want to see, actually. right? So in short, as far as users are concerned, the two primary inefficiency that are there. One is loss of data, and second is you're uh, not seeing relevant advertisement or seeing irrelevant advertisement. From the advertiser's perspective, what happens is that you go and buy data from DMPs. When you get this data, you're getting a big dump. You don't know what the value of it is. You get it, put it together in your ML uh, platform, and then sort of when a user comes in, you try to evaluate that user's value. But the browsing data and all that is so little especially the example I mentioned to you before, really you are valuing somebody's click after that person has purchased the shoes, so really you're losing a lot of money. You don't know whether it's a bot or not, and then you're losing money again. And there's a person who actually is really interested in buying something, you don't know that, and then so you're not able to actually sort of provide the advertisement that she's looking for. Okay? So in short, what's happening as far as you as an advertiser is concerned, you cannot price your data accurately. That's why you're giving wrong advertisements or not you're paying bidding for the right advertisement. So we want to solve these two inefficiencies, and Zoro will achieve that. So let me sort of explain each of these pieces one by one in remaining a minute. All right, so you download. It's like, think of Chrome extension. There are two ways to sort of use it. One, in a forward intent manner, second is privacy, private manner. In forward intent manner, you simply enter something like this, saying that I'm going to run marathon in Chicago in fall, and I'm looking for Snickers. Okay? And then sort of the system takes this. It forwards the, your intent. Uh, it understands it, what this means. And then in an anonymized, cryptid manner, it sends it to different advertisers 
who understand what the value of that is, and based on that, they provide uh, right advertisement. You see the right advertisement. You don't see the dress for a wedding that you don't want to go to. Okay, and in the process, you earn some money. Okay, from uh, uh, and then of course, if you decide that you don't want advertisement, you just don't want to lose data or anything, then you just click private mode. The private mode, all that happens is okay. Uh, my time is almost up. The point is, in the private mode, you don't sort of uh, show anything, and in otherwise, from an advertiser's perspective, you get exactly the value of each click that matters. And again, if you want to know more, you should go and sort of uh, come and sort of find us. Uh, there's a white paper that's coming up soon, and there'll be extension available in summer. All right. Thanks.